your love. And we're going to do a couple of really cute cards tonight. So thank you for being here. Yay. A uh, couple of things I want to show you. I went to this incredible event. Um, it was a Titanic dinner party and narrative is what I've called it. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but y'all, I won. I won the prize. It was between me and a friend and I got a, I got a, um, towel that says white star line, which is the line of the Titanic. And that's sweet. I won that. And when we got there, y'all, we had to, we had to pick a character and it was these little tickets were hanging on a banner and there's two punches because I got two questions right. So these really cool tickets, I was Miss Anna Sophia Nyston and they had this um, video playing on the TV and there's a QR code that comes up. Um, every passenger's bio was there. So when your passenger came by on the TV, you would um, take a photo of the QR or just put your photo app toward the QR code. You know how it do does. And then it would open up a website that would tell us all about her. So she was a third class passenger, but y'all, yeah, she lived. She lived. So I thought that was kind of cool. This was my name plate, plate at the formal, um, the first class dinner that we attended. It was unbelievable. This is the, um, scan this code to connect with us and hear about future events. It's from the gathering place. And there was a cookie. There were two cookies and they are petite French cakes. And, um, and this cute little portfolio. I love these old things. Y'all know I'm going to craft with this, right? You know, I'm going to make something cool. Hey, Angela. So I, I won the prize at that fancy dinner and I'm telling y'all what, I was I was absolutely blown away with that dinner. So, Angela, I'll have to tell you more about it later. Okay, so now I'm going to share a few more things with y'all. I ordered a, a gift card for a graduate, right? And someone that we love very much in our family, my son-in-law, ran over it. And um, thankfully, I have a room full of supplies to fix this. But, y'all... I mean, it's like, I went ahead and ripped the top off because I'm going to make a box to go up under this because this didn't suffer as much as this box did. But yeah, that happened. Okay, so just telling you about my week. Okay, and then my sweet friend Heidi went to the Dollar Tree, y'all. Now, it's a big deal because Heidi had surgery just like three weeks ago. Big surgery, y'all. Rotator cuff. And she got these for me. And you know what I'm going to do with these? We're doing a Thursday crafting um, with some uh, 4th of July things. And uh, this was on a long stick, um, a metal pole, you know, so you can stick it in your yard. But y'all, I had to take it off because I almost stuck myself 107 times. Okay. And that is coming up on Thursday. And then I had some happy mail and it is from my friend Nyoka, who is a viewer here on my page. And she used the hand pen suite to create this. And these are just so perfectly laid down. And she went around and kind of dry brushed this with uh, dark gray or black. I'm not sure. She's got a layer here and then that layer and a little bow. And thanks, and it's and it's a card, an easel card. It stands up, and on the back, I'm not quite sure what this layer is, but you can see, it's got the little loops on it, so it's really pretty. And then she just put pieces of the designer series paper and and stamped it. I love it. And y'all, that's not all. Here's the back of the envelope. You know, I mean, I would love to do my envelopes every time, but sometimes I don't think about it. And when I see them done, I'm like, oh, I need to do that every single time. And then she even uh, stamped this and colored it. I mean, y'all, it was so sweet to get the little happy mail. 
Okay, that's all my show and tell. I th oh, I got one more show and tell. Um, I just started doing this, and what you're seeing is that bag hanging there. Okay, I put a little, the little um, clip there, whatever it's called, the hanger, and um, and I put these. I hang them on there. And what this is is my heavy, my thick card stock that I've already cut and put into card bases. And y'all, I just found out that I really like to have my card bases already cut and folded. So now they just sit on my little cart and they're happy as can be. Okay, so Angela, now that you're back in town, let's get a real date, my friend. Let's get a real date and uh, get together because I miss you. Okay, so Artistically Inked is what we're using tonight. Love this stamp set. And both techniques that I'm doing tonight are from Dina Reco, Reco, R -E -K -O -W, Reco, I think. Okay, so I've taken this stamp out. Boop, right here. And we are going to do something kind of cool. It's kind of cool. We're going to take... <laughs> I had a phone call. Are y'all still here? I hope so. Um, he's on my favorites list, my son. And that's why, that is why his call came through. Okay, so I put this on my long block. And I'm going to go, let's see. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I'm going to go with the Bermuda Bay first, all right? And y'all, this is the coolest thing we're gonna you know what i don't think i want to use the little ones let me let me grab my bigger ones here we go yeah this will do it right here so these are the colors we're using all right very bright and summery i hope now we're going to put some real color on here come on now oh i see what it did y'all i'm crazy those little ones would do fine um it's the type of stamp it's supposed to do that. So we're going to stamp up high to begin with. Press down, see how we do. That's pretty. I like that. That's pretty. Okay, so then we're going to we're going to clean the stamp. And now Teresa knows, but anybody else watching may not know. We um we met for the first time, y'all, since COVID started, our card ministry for our church. We call it Dove Notes. My friend Karen named it. And y'all, it is one of the sweetest things. I mean, we, we just love to get together and create. And one of the ladies in our group had never made a card before or anything. She's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not crafty and everything. I said, well, just drop in, just drop in. Y'all, she loved it. Of course, she loved it. So hopefully she'll be joining us more and more. Okay, so now we're going to go, I think, with the Mango Melody. Now this may be retired. I don't know, y'all know. I don't know. I just on a whim picked it up off my shelf. Now if you're watching and you hadn't said, hey, hey, give me a shout. Okay, so I'm just going, I'm probably going to get my head in it. I'm going to try not to, but y'all know how that works, right? Oh, look at that. Whoo, doggies. It's more of an orange than I expected because you see the bar? It, it, it doesn't look orange, does it? Okay. And we're going to go with the Granny Apple Green. This is a fun color. Always cheerful. Okay. We're going to go like this. And see, I've, I've stamped over right here, but it's okay. It's okay. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something else. Um, I tried to do my hair. I, I want y'all to know they took our picture today at the, at the uh, Dove Notes, our church um, card making group. And I'm telling y'all what. I ain't never seen anything look like me. And I was like, hold on a minute. So, and I did say ain't never. And I know that's not right. But y'all know. Y'all know. Okay. So, um, y'all. 
I tried to do something with my hair this evening. Oh, that's looking cool. And y'all, it just, it just, you know, whatever. What it's just at that length. And I'll, I'm not ready to cut it yet. I don't know what to do. When you've got super short hair, it is so high maintenance. And I just don't know. I just don't know about all that. I kind of want to see. Isn't that pretty? Now, it looks like a hot mess, but it's okay. It looks like a bunch of pigs hugging each other. Like that's their little arm and their little feet, and this is their little piggy heads. I'll never unsee that. But, um, but yeah, the short, short hair is so high maintenance, at least for me. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to let that stamp sit there and think about what it's done. And he's talking loud, but I asked him to call my son, our son. I asked him to, so I guess that was on fire when I sat down on it. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, so now we're taking these strips here, and I might have sent him outside, y'all. And, okay, this one's one inch, this one's three quarters, okay? And we're just going to go like this with our glue, and we are, I always want him to call our son back. I mean, you know, when the kids call, it's like, hold on, everybody, stop what you're doing, make sure everything's okay. And my mom was 81, and I said, when am I going to stop worrying about my kids? And she said, I'll let you know. Oh, it does look like kittens. But look what we're about to do. I know, I know. It's kind of rude, but hey, that's what we're about to do. All right, so we got, again, the one inch. And anybody here that hasn't said, hey, hey, give me a shout. Let me know you're here. Okay. And then, and then, and then, let's get a little bit of that glue and put down here. Okay. We are just going to kind of, sort of, we don't have to be perfect, but we're just going to get together, get it. You hear how loud he is? Y'all, he talks so loud, but that's okay. That's all right. It's his house. He can talk as loud as he wants, unless I tell him to stop, right? <laughs> no, but true story, Um, he's hard of hearing. Okay, and then we are just going to see how this fits because I got just a little bit of an edge here. Mm, just a teeny millimeter itsy bitsy tiny, tiny. Teresa, how are you feeling? I hope you're okay after today's excursions. Right there. We'll just, oh dear. Oh, just throwing it. All right, we're just going to There we go. Okay, okay, okay. So now we are going to, I think I'm going to use this tape here. Let's put some of that on here. We used, um, uh-oh, there we go. We used some other double-sided tape today. Oh, good, you had a nap. I did too, but I, woke, I startled myself and woke myself up, girl. Woke myself straight up. I'm putting this right along the edge, okay? Boy, there's glue, y'all. It feels like there's glue everywhere. And there, there kind of is. See if I can get that. Because it'll stick to everything for the rest of the night. I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. Oh, see. There's, there's more than one way to do this. There we go. There we go. But, um... But that's okay. All right, I'm going to lay this on here and put that there. Let's see, got to push him up just a wee bit. Yeah. Right, and then I'm going to, I've got a little rough edge here, like this. Like that. 
I think that's clean now. It is good. Okay, and we're not done, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna have another fun thing that we're gonna do. Okay, so now we want to say we're gonna say happy birthday. How about that? Hmm? How about it? Happy. Boop. And birthday. Boop. That's so fun, isn't it? I love that font. Just that font right there. It is so pretty. Okay, so because it is... Yeah, I can do it with this. Um, I'm going to take this off here. And... Hold on just a minute. John. John. Can you go out to the porch or the EBR? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> he's getting really carried away, and he's loud. Okay. He's going to the EBR. The emotional baggage room. Because emotional baggage. All right, so, y'all, I have this handy-dandy little um, sticker on my block, and that's all it is. It's just like a little sticker. And I'm able to line up the words with the lines in the sticker but but y'all it it may or may not work I mean I don't know because these these words are are in a fun font so I may or may not have it right let's look oh oh I love it I love it okay so I'm just gonna stamp 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 or not stamp stamp I'm gonna ink 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 and I'm going to go, i got to get my head in there, y'all. I'm going to go right here. There we go. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And y'all, all I did was take that one stamp and cut, do it in different colors. And like I said, this came from Dina Rico. Um, someone made this card for her. And she recreated it. And the next card is also from her. And um, I don't I don't know. I don't know if somebody made her that card also or what. But anyway. Yes, they did. Because she had a birthday and her friends were sending her cards. Okay, so now we're going to put this little work of art on here. Like so. Okay. Let me see. Wait, I think I want to trim. I want to trim just a wee bit. Let's do that. There we go. Trim it just a wee. I kind of enjoy that uh, that trimmer. It's it's really handy. Uh, Michelle, hey there! So glad to see you. Hey 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 girl hey. All right, and all we've done, Michelle, is stamp this in different colors and then add a black panel and a white panel. That's all we've done. That's it. And we have gorgeous birthday card. But, y'all, we've had my son's birthday was June the 3rd. His wife's was um, May 31st, I think, or 30th. And our grandson is June the 10th. And we were just in Savannah, so we can't really travel back there for my grandson's birthday. And I'm I'm really disappointed. But it's okay. It's okay. And it's just it's just that that thing. I mean, we we went uh to babysit the grandkids so the parents could go off and and uh do celebrate their birthdays and um Thank you, Michelle. This is a design that Dina Rico featured on her video, and I loved it so much, but I, I wanted to do just a little different. It's just a little different. Her happy birthday. Um, let me get this on here. Her happy birthday kind of goes this way, and, um, well... Her happy birthday goes like that, and the card opens like that, but mine is going to open this way. 
So I would put the sentiments here. So that's our first card, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Love it. You can take a picture if you want. A little screenshot. Okay. All right. Now the second card. This is going to be fun because we get to use the Stamparatus. I had to look everywhere for it, y'all. Okay, so if y'all haven't heard, I made this. It's a Chucky tool. Um, they call it Chucky tool because um, this guy named Chuck designed this much prettier one. And, and it's, it makes it where you can just glide over your, um, your stamping positioning tool, which mine is a Stamparatus. And his was really pretty, and I thought, I can do that. So I had an old candle that I had a lid to, and then I stuck these little, um, what works on... Oh, hey, Nyoka! I just shared your beautiful card. Let me find it. It's right here. I just shared this beautiful card that you made for me. I love it so much. And um, I don't think Michelle Fish saw it, because she just came in. But this is the back. And it's an easel card. It opens like this. And then we have this on the back. So I just wanted to share it again because Nyoka's here. So that was part of my happy mail. Y'all have to go to the beginning to see the rest of the stories. Okay. So we are going to take this little guy. And I'm going to put this on here. I already have my stamp that says happy. Again, we are using this set here. I don't think I showed you that a minute ago. When I made this card, the the two words, happy birthday, um, those two, okay? Well, you can't really see it, but anyway. Um, I do, Nyoka. It just made my day. Thank you so much. And that that's probably my top favorite set right now, the pen, uh, hand-penned suite. Um, so yeah, I got the happy birthday off of this and now we're using happy. We're going to, we're going to stamp happy and then, uh, you'll see what we're going to do. Okay. So for the moment, that's our first card. And here we go. There's just a little spot on this stamp, but I can't get it off. I'm going to put this right up to the edge and we will trim whatever's not perfect. Okay, okay, we're going to go boop. Come on now. Okay, I want this to stay down as much as possible. All right, so I'm going to go back with those same colors, y'all, because, I mean, hello, look how happy we were with those colors. We're going to start with Bermuda Bay. And, and I'm going to warn you, it might get messy. It might. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to see, okay, because I got to be able to Oh, I love Bermuda Bay, y'all. Oh, look at that. Uh, it looks like the bay in Bermuda. <laughs> you know what I figured out the other night? Nyoka, I know I just can't make an ugly card with that hand pencil. Right? Y'all, I found out the other day there is a Devil's Triangle in Alaska. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I got to grab my... I'm going to use this. Um, I'm just going to clean, boop, please hold, going over here. All right, I'm just going to clean my stamp because I'd rather not get ink all over me. Um, I'm just cleaning my stamp. Now, y'all, I'm going to buy another one of these. I'm going to cut them into fours. I'm just saying. Um, and by the way, this is our June host code. Just going to show you for a minute and bring it back later. Um, that's our June host code. If your orders are under $150, you use that code. If they're $150 or more, and you go to my website, kathybow.stampinup.net. But if they're uh, more than $150, you should just don't use the host code because you get some freebies. Oh, man, I didn't have to do that. Hold on. Dang. Please hold. Uh, okay, that's the whole reason I was doing the Stamparatus, y'all. Hold on. Okay, stay. Good. Okay, okay. So I'm going to pick my stamp back up and move my paper. Y'all, I thought my little, um, I thought my little, these guys were going to do a better job, but no. And they, Oh, hey, Marilyn, I'm so glad to see you here. 
we're just going to put that there and tell it how to act. Okay, so I've got my stamp here that I went up right. So now I'm going to pick this up and click it down to the next position. You see? All right. And now we are going to come in with the Granny Apple Green right here. Niagara, when will we be able to order out of the catalog coming up? Um, I think it's August 3rd for customers. Um, demonstrators have a pre-order, and uh, we will be able to pre-order and show you guys things in July. But I think it's August 3rd. Okay, so here we go. Now, this might be just a wee bit off because, y'all, my paper moved. There we go. Oh, look at that. I love it. I love it. Okay, now we're going to clean our stamp again. And guess what we're going to do? Who can guess what's next? All right, there we go. We are going to pick this up. Boop. I'm going to get a different yellow because this has a little orange in it. This is Mango Melody. And I'm going to go with Daffodil Delight. There we go. So, we are going to ink up our little happy. I'm so happy. And we just keep going down on our Stamparatus. We just, oh, I'm right in, the, I'm right in it, aren't I? Here we go. Here we go. Look. Now, y'all, one of the beauties of the Stamparatus is, if you want it to be a little darker, all you got to do is ink it back up because your paper hadn't moved. Move the plate down. That's right, Nyoka. We're going to move the plate down. Happy, happy, happy. All right. I'm going to take this right here off. Now, um, y'all be sure and set a, a set a calendar reminder or something for my, uh, for Kathy Bow's crafting show on Thursday because we're going to have some fun. Love the stacked lettering. Yes, thank you. I do too. I love it. I love it. It's so much fun. Okay, now we're going to use the... Oh, poo. I wrote it down. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. I won't keep it a secret, y'all. See, that's how much I love y'all. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what color we're using. And um, Dina, uh, her favorite color is that... Um, Coastal Cabana, my favorite also. And look at that. I'm going to put it on again. And um, she she said Coastal Cabana is, uh, we have Coastal Cabana, so we'll know that God loves us. <laughs> okay, that is very vibrant, very pretty. This is Melon Mambo. I just forgot the name of it. And we're going to end with another... Bermuda Bay. Now we may cut it off. I don't know yet. I don't. I don't know. It's first time. And honestly, this is the first time I've made the uh oh that I've made this card. Um I did give it a a quick try earlier, and I wasn't trying to be perfect. I was just trying to see how far apart the words were. But y'all, this is first generation the, the, like full ink. And then I didn't ink it, and I stamped that one, and I didn't ink it, and I stamped that one. So you could keep going and have an ombre effect. I mean, hello. How cool is that? Um, I need to get a little more off of there. Okay, I hope that's good. We'll see. Oh, no, no. Leave that on. I keep doing that, y'all. Heavens. Okay, yeah. This one is probably... I shouldn't stamp this one. I'm not going to stamp this one, and I'll show you why. The next one down is coming off, and then I'll just miss part of it when I go to trim it. So I'm just going to do this one like this. Take my little happy off, and we're not done. We're not. Okay, here we go. Here we go with this. We're going to close this and move it on out. We'll move it on out. I'll never find it again if I put it in there. I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes I have to take a minute to just put things where they go. Okay, we are going to use the birthday chick. Oh, I'm sorry. The June host code is still there. Cool as a cucumber. Yes, ma'am. How cool is that? 
Okay, we are going to use the, oh, come on. Have I not used you yet? Nope, hadn't used this one yet. Oh, <laughs> it's falling all over the place, y'all. Come on, heavens. Boy, this one does not want to get out in the wild. It likes its little nest with the other chickens. Y'all, okay, y'all just wait over there and behave, or at least try to. Okay, so now I am going to get me a block, and yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't, put the labels on this one yet. I haven't used it before. Isn't that crazy? Um, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So I'll show you. Missy is about worn, worn out. I may have purchased this one. Oh, Nyoka, you need one. I'm telling you, you need it. I, I mean, I have both because the Misty came out first and I thought it was brilliant. Um, naked chickens. No, <laughs> But true story, um, I have both of them, and I, I, I tell you, this one's a lot better. Oh, y'all, this is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at, look at that little confetti. Isn't that adorable? But guess what? We're not done. We're not. And this also is uh, Dina Rico. Um, now, I don't recall what they did along the side, but we're doing this. We're doing it. So, yeah. So, today, um, my Bible, not Bible study, but a lot of them are in my Bible study. My um, Dove Notes, the group that uh, we make cards for our church family. And we were able to meet y'all for the first time since COVID started. Oh, y'all, I'm loving it. Uh-oh. Come on now. I told you to stay over there. That word happy, it just wants to be everywhere I am. Okay. Um, but y'all, we haven't we have not been able to meet since COVID started. And today was our first day, and it was fabulous and wonderful, and it was just so good to see everyone. Okay, this is oh, I put a line on that one. This is getting to be beautiful, y'all. Okay, we're just going to put another little one right here. I'm not going to get crazy with that like I did right there, but it's okay. Sometimes streamers, if you get them from the dollar store, they have a little mark on them. Okay, and here we go. And yellow. We're going to come in with some yellow, which is not yellow. It's Daffodil Delight. We'll call it yellow. Okay, here we go. Boop. 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 What do y'all think? Isn't that fun? Doesn't it just make you happy? But we're not done. We got one more thing to put on here, y'all. Where is... Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. We are going to write birthday. Let me make sure all that blue is gone. Okay, we are going to say birthday. Oh, oh, hang on. I got to get it straight, y'all. Lay it down. You know what's better is grid paper. So we're just going to put it on the grid. Can y'all see here? All right, we're just going to put it on the grid and get it lined up. I know my head's probably in the way. Let go of me there. Okay, okay. And it's on the grid so I can see where everything is. And then I can double check it. And that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, but that's a little, that's a little wonky. There we go. Okay. Whew. So now we are going to use our Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Pretty shower. Oh, happy. Yes. Love it. Thank you. And... Oh, Daffodil Light is my favorite. Yes, it's my favorite yellow, too. It is. Okay, let's see. Happy, happy, happy. I think I'm just going to put birthday right here. Yeah, I like that. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Yay. All right, and then, and then we have, here it is. We have this piece here, 
and we are going to put, we might get out of school early tonight, y'all, because I tell you, I'm just buzzing right along. Don't forget, Kathy Bowes Crafting Show is Thursday at 1 p.m. I had to cancel a couple of weeks ago because I had, um, we were traveling. I think twice I was gone during the day. All right, so we got that, and let me see if we need, do we need a black layer? I don't know if we do or not. Nah, let's just do this. Doesn't that look fun? Thank you, Nyoka. It is cute, isn't it? I'll tack, I will um, put him on there, and there we go. And I'm keeping my glue. It's getting a little low. Y'all, I just had to order six more. But I'm keeping it in my little jar here so that it will stay at the at the top. Okay, we're going to open this and we're just going to go boop. I think. Yep. There we go. So y'all, here we have let me smush them down. Here we have this that happy birthday and then we have this happy birthday and we used biggest wish for those big words and the little words well they're not little but you know they're cursive thin cursive words and we used this stamp from artistically inked so yes Michelle thank you it is cute and quick and a lot of wow for just you know cute and quick right and i'll tell you what you can also do you could go ahead and stamp a whole background with the confetti and then stamp your words they'll show through they'll show through it'll be fun either way and y'all it's one layer it's well i mean it's two layers but i mean there's nothing popping out um easy to mail this one even though it's got a layer it's got um the black layer, then this black, then this white. Um, let's see. Black, then white, then black, then white. Yeah. Um, even though it's got those, y'all, it still it would still be a standard standard uh, mail. So, um, oh, did, would y'all like to see some of the cards we made? But our church card ministry, y'all, my friend Karen. Um, my friend Karen, if she were not there... To help me, I, this ministry wouldn't have made it. I'm serious. So anyway, we gathered today. This is one of them. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. That's not a Stampin' Up stamp. And my friend who had never made a card before made this one. Love it. And here's another one. Same sentiment. I'm going to kind of go through them a little quick. Um, this one says, sending you healing vibes. Um, here's another. And another, I gotta work on that one. It's got a little, it's got a little smudge, so we'll work on that one. Here's another. It's got some ribbon on it. See the ribbon right there? And this is just a background stamp from another company. And sending you our thoughts and prayers with the Forever Fern um, dies, which they're not called that, but that's the name of the stamp set. This is cute. It says, "Hey friend." And there's a bunch of these. May you feel the comfort of the great physician as you take this time to heal. I'll just flip through those real quick. Hope you're feeling better soon. I love this card. It's so much fun. It's got lots of layers. Um, another one similar to that one. More of the great physician. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Can you demonstrate how to make the rickrack next week? I sure will. I sure will. Um, yes, ma'am. I am happy to do that. Look how pretty. And Teresa made all of these. Now, Teresa is on here tonight. All of these, I don't know what other ones she made, but she definitely made all of these. Oh, the, the, thank you, Angela. I'm telling you, people tell us all the time how blessed they are. Um, Karen makes sure that every child in the congregation gets a card, every single child, a birthday card. These are all the same. And Teresa made all of these. All right, here we go. This, look at this iridescent paper. 
And now we don't use all Stampin' Up for our card ministry. We use we use a lot of Stampin' Up, and we look how pretty. Isn't that just sweet? She's got ribbon on both sides and that iridescent paper. We use a lot of Stampin' Up, but um, but it's not all. I mean, we we use what we have, and we give it our best, which is our Stampin' Up. This is just happy. This is just a happy card. Wishing you a quick and complete recovery. I love this. The little bees, aren't they sweet? Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Michelle. Yes, they, they do enjoy. And especially because people don't send cards anymore, hardly. You know? But here you are feeling lousy. And then somebody sends you a sweet card. This is probably... The layout and everything is one of my favorites. Oh, look. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the, we, we made 40-something cards, y'all. 40-something in a matter of from 11 until 2 o'clock. And um, we really finished by probably 1.30 because um, we were cleaned up and heading out by uh, 2, a little after. Thank you, Nyoka. And um, one of the ways we did this was, like, we'd take a basket, okay, and we would put all the parts. Like, I would have the folded part. Oh, and on the back of it, Calvary Chapel Noon and Dove Notes. Isn't that sweet? So I'd put, like, I'd put the card in there. Where did I put them? I've got a, I've got a whole, oh, there it is. Too much to show you there. But anyway, I'd put the, the card base in there, and then the paper, would, I've already cut it to the size, and then I would put the vellum with the die cut, and those go into this little bag, the, um, the die cuts and um, anything that I had to go ahead and cut, like little pieces and parts, would go in here. And then when you get, when you get, what we were planning to do was everybody, like you come to this chair and you make that card. And then you go to the next chair and somebody else sits in this card chair and makes that card. But it doesn't, doesn't have to be that way. Um, one person can make all the cards in the basket and that works too. Just long as we get them made. That, that's it. We just want to get them made. Um, if you're doing this like with a group that has paid to do it, they want to go home with one or two of every card. So that's why you would change seats. So you get to make everything that's there, okay? So there we go, y'all. But anyway, y'all saw the cards we made, and I'm real happy with them. And I uh, thank Dina Rico um, from YouTube for sharing all the techniques. So <laughs> it's in here, y'all, somewhere. All right. Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. Look under the blue card. This one? No. All right. I'm just going to look for it if you have. Oh, found it. Thank you. Look, the Michelle knew where it was. Thank you, Michelle. So these are our cards from tonight. We made all these cards. No. <laughs> these top two cards. And um, I sure enjoyed sharing it with y'all. And I hope that y'all learned a little something new today. And a super simple, super simple cards were made. Uh, yes, Nyoga. And a good time was had by y'all. Okay, y'all have a blessed evening, and thank you again for hanging out. Please join me on Kathy Bowe's Crafting Show on Thursday at uh, 1 o'clock. All right? Love y'all. God bless. And toodles.